Okay, friends. So if you're anything like me and some of my clients and friends, sometimes you have some issues with low back pain. So we are going to just do about a seven to 10 minute uh, routine that you can do pretty much every day uh, that should help to alleviate some of that low back pain. So um, you could do this. I like uh, I would like for you to do this on a firm surface. So doing this sometimes in bed, some of these stretch stretches you could do in bed, but a lot of them, if your mattress is too soft, you're not gonna get the full uh, extent of the stretch. All right, so we're gonna lie back and then we're gonna start by bringing both knees into the chest. You can grab in front of your shins or you can grab behind your knees and you're just gonna do a nice easy rock back and forth. All right, so then we're gonna keep one knee in. I'm gonna keep my right leg in and I'm gonna extend my left leg all the way down and I'm just relaxing this leg. I'm not holding it up. It is just relaxed on the ground. All right, so now I'm tucking this right knee and I'm bringing it in so that my knee is kind of in line with my armpit. So it's a bit off to the side and I'm just holding and I'm breathing. So we wanna hold these stretches for about 20 seconds. And now to transition to the other side, I'm gonna bring my left knee in and I'm gonna transition and extend my right leg out. Now I've got my left knee in and it's kind of in line with my armpit. And I'm just relaxing that right leg. And I'm holding for about 20 seconds. We're going to do three rounds of this. Like I said, I don't want this to be a whole lot, but I want it to be something that you can do. Most of us can try to find seven to 10 minutes to do a little bit of stretching that will help us to alleviate pain. All right, inhale, bring the right knee in. Exhale, the left leg out. Inhale the left leg in. Exhale the right leg out. Inhale the right leg in. Exhale the left leg out. Inhale the left leg in, exhale the right leg out. And now we're gonna take both feet to the mat so our knees are bent, right? All right, so now take your feet wider than the mat. And the reason we're doing this is so that we get some uh, movement in our hip joint, not so much arching the low back. All right, so we are just dropping those knees from side to side like windshield wipers. Very good. Just getting some lubrication in the joints. And then we're going to point both knees at the sky, bring your feet more narrow, take your right ankle on top of your left knee. 
Now we're going to do a figure four stretch. If this is the extent of your mobility and you cannot at this time clasp your hands behind your thigh and then comfortably rest your head back on the floor, then you keep that foot there and gently press here. If you can clasp your hands and still relax your head and neck on the floor and then press your elbow against your inner thigh, flex both your feet and we're going to hold this. Breathing. And then we switch to the other side. So we slide the right ankle off, put the left ankle on top of the right knee. Again, if this is the extent of your mobility, and it's a challenge for you to clasp behind your thigh, don't worry about it. Do this until you can do that. And then clasp your hands if you are. Head and neck resting on the mat. And press that, that inner thigh away with your elbow, flexing both your feet. Hold. We do that again. All right. So three rounds. Switch sides. Breathe. So I would hope as you're doing these, you're starting to feel a little bit looser. Maybe initially that hip felt really, really tight. And now it's starting to feel a little bit better. And one more round on each side. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Both feet go back to the mat, your knees are bent. Take them wide and drop from side to side. Good. All right, point those knees at the sky, bring your feet more narrow. Extend your right leg up towards the sky, hands go behind the thigh and reach, point and flex the foot. Flex it and gentle pull and hold. This should be familiar. A lot of these stretches we have done in other classes. And release. Switch. Point and flex. Everything is connected, my friends. Some of your back pain can be alleviated by working on your feet. Truth. And flex. And release. We're going to extend all the way out, stretch our body long, reach for the wall behind you and the wall in front of you. And relax. Roll over onto your side. Knees are bent, hips are stacked, hand is in line with your chest. Bring yourself up into a seated position. 
Extend one leg out in front of you. Take the other leg. If you can bring it in tight and take it over your foot first, uh, a spinal twist, fantastic. If you can't, and you can just bring it as tight to your body as you can, that's fine too. All right, so either here or here. And then we are going to, if this is my right foot that is bent, my right knee that is bent, pardon me, my right hand goes behind me. Okay, so I'm still keeping my spine tall and I'm gonna wrap my left arm around the outside of my right and I'm going to twist to look over my shoulder. I'm flexing my foot that's of the leg that's extended. And hold. It's a very gentle spinal twist. And unwind and release and we switch. So bring one foot in if this is all you can do and you get your spinal twist there, that's fantastic. But if you can bring it across and still keep it in tight, then do so. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And unwind. Bring the soles of the feet together. Grab your ankles, inhale, and as you exhale, gentle press of the elbows on the inner thighs. And release. I hope that helps with any low back pain. You can also always go into child's pose. That is a really good low back pain reliever. All right. If you have any other questions or if you have any other issues and you need my assistance, shoot me an email or a text or give me a call. I am always here to help. Bye.